I also review my portfolio okay, to look through some of the portfolio of the companies, whether they are performing or not, see whether I should buy in more, hold, or let's say I should sell in. And one of the stock that I bought, and I believe you guys, if you follow my channel closely, you already should know by now, this company is called Hey guys, welcome back to this new episode of Behind the Stock Unscripted. And first thing first is this, Selamat Hari Raya to my friends who are celebrating this uh, Hari Raya. And of course, MCO is here. Stay safe, stay at home, protect yourself, protect your loved ones, and protect your family. So for the past one week, the market continued to be very interesting. Volatility is high, a lot of ups and downs. So a lot of people panic, fear, don't know what to do. And I hope you are not one of them because you are taught okay, what to do already okay, from my last week video. Now, just in case if you haven't watched my last week video, quickly go and watch it right now because those videos will help you a lot. Okay, how you can actually manage your portfolio during these interesting times. This particular episode is a continuous of my video from last week. Why? Because I did what I told you to do. I also review my portfolio okay, to look through some of the portfolio of the companies, whether they are performing or not, see whether I should buy in more, hold, or let's say I should sell in. And one of the stock that I bought, and I believe you guys, if you follow my channel closely, you already should know by now, this company is called Palantir. Now, I won't go through with you why I actually buy Palantir. I have the video about it, so also go and click on the link to watch this particular video sharing with you why I actually bought Palantir. And uh, so a few days ago, Palantir actually announced their earnings. And let me share with you a quick one okay, about their performance. Uh. So based on their Q1, quarter one earnings, the revenue actually grew 49% okay, year on year. And their adjusted operating income from loss making, right now they are making 117 million. So which means they turn around from a loss making to a positive company right now. And their adjusted free cash flow from a negative figure right now is a positive 151 million which is pretty good, right? Now, the average revenue per customer, okay, from 6.3 million, right now grows about 8.1 million, a 29% growth, this is also pretty good. And the average revenue per top 20 customers actually grow 34% as well. Overall, the business fundamental for the past uh, one quarter, they are performing pretty good. Now, in terms of looking ahead, the CEO also said that the revenue is projected to grow another 43% because they adjust their free cash flow guidance from previously break even to in excess of 150 million. Again, pretty good. So in terms of long term wise, okay, the CEO also said that the revenue will continue to grow about 30 plus percent for this year and for the next four years. So fundamentally, the business is sound, still going strong and looking forward, the business still growing strong as well. But guess what? What happened to the share price? For the past one month, the share price from $25 for some reason corrected drop until today less than $20. Why? Despite the company's performing, right? The result is there, showing everyone the results performing, but for some reason the share price corrected about almost 20%, right? So what happened is this. I bought previously Palantir at around, around average price of $22 and right now the share price is currently trading at about $18, $19. I decided to actually add in more to this particular stock to lower down my average cost to about $20. I lower down my average cost 10% below, which means what? I effectively lower down my investment risk by 10% already because previously every share I'm risking $22 but right now right now every share that I'm risking is $20 so when the share price goes back up to $22 previously I'll be break even but right now I already make 10% so can you see the strategy here for a good business okay if I'm able to lower it down my average cost because the share price up down up down up down right I'm able to lower down my investment risk at the same time enjoy much higher return. If you like this good strategy, comment below say you like this strategy more, right? So this is very, very, very important. Okay, or maybe comment below, right? For the past one week, did you review your portfolio and what did you do 
towards your portfolio did you buy more did you hold did you sell and share with me why did you choose to do that action okay share with me okay so that we can learn from one another so i will see you in my next btsu stay safe stay healthy goodbye